Today, we're talking queso. I'm Brian Brickman, and welcome back to another episode of Brick Eats. And like I said, today, we're gonna be talking queso. And I know that you like to make queso at home, and I know you like to put a bunch of Velveeta and some Rotel, maybe some sausage and a, and a crock pot, and let it heat up, and that's pretty good, right? And if you really like to make queso, you might use real cheese, but who has time for all that? What if you just wanted a jar a queso, you buy it at the grocery store, you bring it home, and you just have some damn queso without having to go make things or heat things up or use special dishes? Well, that's what we're gonna do today. I bought eight different store brand quesos. These should be, I would imagine, relatively easy to find anywhere in the country. We're gonna try them today, and I'm gonna tell you which one I think is the best. We're gonna start left to right. We've got Mission Tortilla Strips. Strips are perfect for dipping in queso. So uh, let's get started. The El Phoenix Fire Roasted Queso. Now, as you can see, but it's not thick, it's mushy, it's kind of jiggly. Mix it up a little bit. We're gonna get a good, healthy bite of this. You can definitely taste the fire roasted aspect. Definitely has some heat. Good cheese. Looks like it's got little chunks in there. Looks like some got some green chili peppers. Got some onion. According to the label, it has fire roasted onion. Got some sweet green peppers in there with some green chili peppers. It was pretty good. First one I tried, but I would eat this, no doubt. The second one we're gonna try is Rico's. Rico's salsa de queso. Rico's literally invented stadium nachos. So I have high expectations of this. I would imagine it's pretty good. Quick look at the ingredients. Made it with water cheese blend, cheddar cheese, you know, pepper, sugar, spices. Sounds good to me. Let's open it. Now, that's nice and jiggly too. And you can actually, you can see a red pepper in there right away. Broke my chip. You can tell this is a lot thicker than the El, Pas El Phoenix. Boy, this one definitely has more cheese flavor. And it's definitely that nacho stadium cheese. Yeah. Good, you can, you can feel the bite. It's not as hot as the other one, but yeah, it's got that flavor. It's like that flavor. When you go to the ballpark, you go to a football game, you go anywhere, you get a side of nachos, you're most likely getting Rico's cheese anyway, and this definitely fits the bill. This is stadium nacho cheese. I'll give it another bite just because it's so good. So far, I'm putting Rico's in front. No doubt. The next one on our list is Miss Renfro's. I didn't know this. Miss Renfro's is out of Fort Worth, Texas. Same thing. Quick look at the ingredients. Cheese mix, cheese flavor, the tomato, onion, green chili pepper, sweet red pepper. I think we're going to see a lot of the same ingredients over and over. This one has more of a pink color. Thick, jiggly, a little easier to mix up. It's not as thick as that Rico's. Now it's got a very distinct flavor like almost a sour. You can taste the peppers. It's got kind of a weird bite, a little after bite that, uh, a weird aftertaste. I don't know what that is and I can't figure it out. I suppose if you open this can and this is the only one you had, this would be pretty good, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it third on our list behind El Phoenix. Next one we're gonna try, On the Border. This one's gonna boil back to a little more yellow. It's jiggly. Quick look at the ingredients. Looks like it's made with Monterey Jack cheese, jalapeno peppers, bell peppers. Got some whey protein in it, man. Maybe this one's the best one for working out for far. Green chili, Salt, diced tomatoes, normal stuff. Give it a taste. It's thicker than the uh, Miss Renfro's and the El Phoenix, but not as thick as the Rico's. Okay, that's cheesy right there. It's cheesy. You can taste the peppers. Mmm. Got a little bit of a bite to it. That is really good. On the border, you're going number two. Third one, Tostitos. A little water, Monterey Jack cheese, diced tomatoes, and tomato juice, jalapeno peppers. Wow. Okay, these are really close ingredients. It's not exactly the same, but man, these are really close in ingredients. Now that looks thick, nice and yellow. I don't know why I like my queso to be yellow. I think that's important. It looks like queso if it's yellow. If it's not yellow, it should be queso blanco or queso whatever color it might be. Okay, it's nice and thick. Man, that's really good too. That is cheesy, man. That is cheesy. That is the closest thing to the Ricos that I've tasted. And you still get it. Like a little bit of bite of spice, but not too much. You taste the peppers in there. Man, that is really good. I was kind of hoping more for some local smaller brands, but I can see why these so big brands are so successful. Now we get the paste. Soybean oils, diced tomatoes. The third biggest ingredient on here is diced tomatoes and tomato juice, which I haven't seen on any of these. It's way down the list in all of these. Then you get pepper jack cheese, then a cheddar cheese blend, roasted red peppers, jalapenos, new filetta cheese. Is that how you say it? New fachetta, new fachetta. It's that cream cheese, that one with less fat. That's thick, jiggly, and very yellow. Mmm, hold on. I think you can taste the cheese, but uh, it's not like cheese you want. It's kind of a weird wet taste. 
Mm -mm. I don't think that one's very good at all. Paste is gonna have to go to the end. Now I went ahead and bought a store-bought brand because I thought, why not have a store brand in here? So we can taste the difference. Now this is uh, Kroger brand salsa con queso. Made with real cheese. <laughs> Check out the ingredients. Monterey Jack cheese, jalapeno peppers, red bell peppers. Got whey protein in it also. Check it out. Y'all, jiggly. Mm -hmm. Stir it up. This tastes very similar to the on the border, but it tastes a little more like easy cheese. You know that canned cheese? I gotta tell you though, store brand, not too bad. Better than the paste. And the last one we're gonna try is Authentic Desert Pepper Trading Company, Chili Con Queso. Their ingredient, water tomato, dehydrated cheese, cheddar cheese, green chili pepper, tomato puree, jalapeno, sweet red pepper. Now that's the definitely the peachest looking one I've seen. Well, that smells good. It got kind of a tomatoey twang. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a twang to it. I don't know what that twang is, but I kind of like it. It's like a peppers and it's got, you can taste the peppers. You can really taste it. It's really tomatoey. It's not as cheesy. Like the tomato flavor almost overpowers the cheese, which I don't know if you'd want that in queso, but I really like that. I think. I'm gonna have to move that to here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw them all back open. I'm gonna do a quick pick on all of them from worst to first and make sure that we have this order set correctly. I don't know what that twang is in that pace. I just don't like that Miss Renfro. Still tastes like easy cheese. That's good. Still think the flavors are off for queso. For queso. That's still a solid cheese. I really like that. Having chips and queso at a party, man. I think it's set. I think we can just end this conversation right now. Best in how? Rico's, because it tastes like the stadium and it makes me feel like I'm at a football game. The Tostitos, this is the reason they sell so much of this. It is really good. This is ex exactly what you think like a jar of queso would taste like. The desert pepper, man, it's unique. It's it's tomatoey. It's good. It's, it's a different flavor. It doesn't taste just like boring cheese. Man, I like this a lot. And then from here, down we start going downhill there you go the final order is set tell me if i'm right how's that you can put it in the comments i'm brian brickman that's it for me you know the drill grab the corner hit that like button and if you do subscribe hit that little bell turn that little bell solid that way you get notified when i have new videos out and you can watch them right away until next time eat some queso and we'll see you